Hello, my name is Arturo Espinosa and I'm going to show you how to make some tile miles and rows with tires and rope. Now in this first part of the series, uh, I'm going to give you a small introduction and then show you the tools and materials needed to make your own samples. Okay, so this is the end product. Um, they take about three hours to make. So you gotta be a little bit patient, especially with a couple of the steps to make them, uh, especially with the cutting. And uh, these are the first sandals that I that I made, uh, and I'm gonna make uh, new ones. That's why I'm I take this opportunity to take this video. And the main reason is because uh, the rope here that I used is a quarter of an inch rope and it's a little bit too thick so this knot here that we use to uh, tie everything up tends to slip quite a bit because there's not enough friction on the rope uh, to keep the, the knot uh, tight and the second reason is that I actually made my own sandals a little bit too short so they work okay for like uh, relaxed general use even for walking but for running then my foot starts going t onto the tip and you can actually see how um, my fingers grab the border of the sole and that's no good so I need to make new ones to make sure that the tip it's now long enough that my toes won't reach the uh, that part of the sole. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so these are the tools and materials you would, you would be needing to make your own sandals. Uh, let's go from left to right. Okay, so obviously you're gonna need some kind of tire. Um, I choose to use um, chose to use motorcycle tire because uh, motorcycles need more friction with the ground since they have less wheels than a normal car and uh, this kind of rubber uh, is more grippy than normal uh, car tires. The other good thing is that uh, most motorcycles have a, a bigger radius. Uh, on their tires. Their tires are uh, taller than a car's so uh, that makes the the sole of the sandal a little bit uh, less curvy and the the other good reason is that uh, well I found them quite easy to cut and the uh, car and uh, uh, truck tires they usually have more reinforcements the iron is uh, thicker, so I think they would be more difficult to cut. Okay, so the second most important material that you will be needing is rope. And um, you have several options. Uh, you can either use um, this quarter of an inch nylon rope. That's the one I use for my first sandals. It's quite comfortable. The good thing about thick rope is that it's going to create less friction on your skin because uh, there's going to be more area so less pressure uh, around the points where the rope actually touches your your foot now the this one is a uh, 3 16 of an inch thick rope nylon rope this is what I'm going to use for my second uh, for my second sandals and um, I think it's going to have a little bit more friction so the, the, it's going to slip less and the knot is going to uh, keep itself tight more time so this is going to be my, my second try with rope now some people have uh, recommended the use of this uh, which is called parachute rope now this rope uh, is quite uh, a little bit difficult to get you can order it from the internet it's used also for paragliding 
and uh, it's very very thin I think the friction would be quite high but it, it also gives like nice minimalistic look to your sandals so you may want to try that and uh, of course the friction is going to be quite high so uh, it has it, its advantages but I, I think it's difficult to get and I think the sandals should be made from more common materials but that depends on you entirely okay so the other material that you're gonna be needing is called thermopit and um, it's this uh, rubbery plastic that uh, which you can heat up uh, with a lighter and it's gonna wrap around it's going to shrink so it will wrap around into whatever it has uh, on its inside and I use this for uh, to keep the uh, the end of the ropes nice and tight so it's a, it's a good solution, it's elegant and it also works very well uh, in outdoor situations with all the humidity and different kind of conditions, temperatures so I really recommend this for uh, to keep your the ends of your rope quite uh, neat and tight you will be needing some paper and a ballpoint pen or just anything that you can paint on the on the paper so that you can do something like this which is a pattern made out of your own food uh, to make the, the sole of the sandals for cutting the tire now I use these gardening cutters uh, to cut the cut tires I actually haven't tried them uh, on, um, to make an actual tire but I've been trying them on, on my tire here see how well they cut and uh, they seem to be quite fast so I'm, I'm gonna try this uh, for the first time to make a, a sandal I think uh, they work pretty well because they have this very good leverage here so you get some good power and I think they're gonna be faster for cutting so I really recommend this and uh, uh, if you don't have this tool it's okay because you can still use um, just uh, any kitchen knife uh, the kind the kind that uh, has this um, teethy uh, blade on it uh, they sell them to you like as a um, kind of knife that never um, loses its, its um, file you know so it always keeps itself sharp uh, maybe you will need a pointy knife uh, to start uh, cutting on the tire you know the first uh, to point through and then use the, either the, the knife or the gardening cutter and uh, some scissors just to uh, cut the final steps and for cutting the paper of course and um, you're gonna need some a little bit of water water is very important you should you always use it when cutting or working with uh, with the rubber of the tire because it lubricates um, uh, the material and it makes it easier to cut through or just in, in general to, to work with the, with the tire so it's uh, kind of important I use a straw to uh, administer the, the water to pour it over the surface I, I want to work in and uh, well this is a sharpener sharpener will be used to sharpen your tools in general it's uh, the rubber is kind of hard in, into the metals of the of the tools so sharpening is, is a good idea so you could keep down the effort of course it depends on you if, either if, if you're a strong person you may just want to use brute force to uh, cut through the to, through the materials and uh, just don't not care about this. I'm not a very strong guy, so I try and tend to keep it like um, working more smart than hard. And uh, well, you're gonna need uh, one or two wood chisels. Uh, the width the width of the chisels it depends on uh, the strength that you're going to apply on the on the rubber. This is for cutting. Uh, away the the sole and uh, making holes in it and that kind of thing. So um, the good thing about a, 
uh, a, a broad chisel like the one on top that's a one inch chisel and uh, is that you can advance quite quickly with it but you're going to apply less pressure on the tire when you cut it so um, uh, you're going to need to uh, do some uh, harder hammering with it and the, the thin chisel which is this one is a half inch chisel the good thing is that um, more of your energy goes into a smaller um, uh, surface so it cuts through uh, faster but you will have to make more cuts and uh, well the good thing about the another good thing about the thin chisel is that uh, it's more precise so the uh, forms that you try to make uh, are going to be more precise it's going to be a um, uh, you're going to get some better finishing so of course you need a, a hammer um, uh, I have I just happen to have two, but um, just with one will be enough. I use one for uh, fine details when I need to control more my uh, the energy, and the other one for for cutting the sole, the the second stage of the cutting, which uh, need I, I require some good energy to cut through. Okay. So um, uh, for most of the work with the knife, especially. I recommend using some gloves because otherwise you may get some blisters and um, uh, the work with the knife can be quite hard on, on the hands um, it, it takes a lot of patience to cut the tire with the knife so it's better to use some gloves with, with that so that you can go as fast as possible without uh, damaging your hands uh, uh, this uh, measuring tape uh, for general use, then you're going to need uh, different kinds of grips um, for keeping the materials in place uh, as you work with them. Okay, so you're going to need a, a drill to make uh, the holes uh, through which the, the rope is going to be threaded. And um, I used uh, this. Uh, um, drill bits uh, which are special for wood I found them to be quite good for working on the rubber of, of the tire uh, it, uh, they have these nice bits that keep the, um, the, the drill in place when, when I make the, the holes okay so this is the detail of the drill bit you can see that um, how they have this sharp leading point okay that's what makes them a special for wood so you should you maybe you want to get that for your rope this is a six millimeter um, uh, drill bit and this is four millimeter I use plywood uh, to uh, cut the, the sole with the chisel so um, uh, you can, I don't know if you can see in the video, but you can see the, uh, I hope you can see the cuts from the chisel that go into the plywood. And when working with the wood chisel, you need it um, to something beneath the material because as you punch through, um, the chisel will, if, uh, if you're working on a, on a material that is harder than the chisel, then the chisel is going to bend on its point and that's no good so you need something soft but that, that at the same time resists um, the punch of the of the chisel and protects flooring on on your house or whatever so this this is a good um, material for to work on the sandals and then maybe some other piece of wood uh, I use this for drilling the the holes into the the, the sole of the sandals. Okay, the last two things we're going to be needing are the, is um, just a common uh, lighter. Uh, I recommend one that has a good uh, gas deposit because you may be using it uh, uh, for quite uh, some time to melt the rope on the on the end that goes into the sole. So. Um, I, I don't recommend using a small one, it's going to run out too quickly. 
and uh, some glue, uh, this kind of uh, transparent uh, plastic glue like UHU or whatever. And um, this is just to um, uh, to paste to uh, glue the the rope into the sole so that it doesn't flap around or move. So just, you're just gonna need a little bit of this. Okay, well that's pretty much regarding uh, materials and tools to make your sandals.